everybody. Um, I'm just sitting here chilling. Uh, just got done looking through a whole bunch of uh, ammo and stuff. Um, it's all a lot of posts some people's got. Uh, one of them uh, is Jonathan Doe on Facebook. Uh, looking at his comments lately. And uh, it reflects that of what some of y'all have already gone through. Uh, it's you know, fuck this shit, you know, sick and tired of people just talking to each other, and, you know, we've all been there, you know, we're tired of arguing and sharing information within a group that already knows, you know what I'm saying, an awakened group, you know, they're all pissed off that, you know, other people aren't, you know, waking up and waking up the other masses, the sheeple, and, uh, you know, slow progress is still progress. And that's something that you got to keep in mind at all times, is uh, that it is progressing, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is on the up and up. Uh, something that I found, uh, nine times out of ten, you know, you wake up somebody, they take their Facebook account, and they change it to an Anon account. And that, you know, one, you know, really doesn't keep them anonymous. And two, you know, it throws them into the same pictures and the same feed as awaken individuals so something that I'd like to remind Jonathan Doe and anybody else that's in that situation you know it's all pissed off because they're just talking to anons uh, remember that some of these people are new you know what I'm saying some of these people don't have the same information that we have you know I've been in the game for fucking a couple decades now you know I have information that others don't you know plus I do things differently so there's some more information that I get and other people the same way. So, whenever you get pissed off because anons are sharing stuff with anons, you know, you gotta remember that it's information sharing. And that's what's happening, is they're sharing the knowledge. Um, a little bit off topic. Fucking chemtrails, fake snow, and all that good shit. Um, it's, it's a pity. You know, it's a pity. Uh, I've been talking about chemtrails forever, ever, ever, and um, nothing's been done by it, you know, and nothing's been done. All that's been done is knowledge has been shared, and uh, nothing's changed, you know. We still got chemtrails coming in, we still got the constant attacks to our health, we still got our medicines getting attacked, our food's getting attacked, our water's getting poisoned, you know, there's so many problems. And that's something that is the problem, is that there's so many problems. Uh, we have so many different things to attack and so many different things that we need to change that we need to go ahead and decide collectively, you know, what's more important, you know. I understand that TTP is very bad, you know. I understand that fracking is very bad. I understand that, you know... They don't need to be skinning all these uh, animals and selling the meat to people. I understand that you know there's all these different issues, but I think that everybody's getting spread too thin, and that perpetuating the problem that Jonathan Doe was having was that he doesn't see enough progress moving forward. Um, we need to chip at it little by little, and we're doing it on too many small levels. Okay, uh, we didn't plan to fail. We're failing to plan. Um, we need to go ahead and plan correctly. See, I'm doing my Bilderberg out 2014. I'm, you know, every week, every day, I'm doing certain things accordingly in alphabetical order. That's just one little thing that I'm doing. I'm just chipping at them just a little bit. I'm not doing a full effect. I'm not really fucking them up. And that's because we're not really all on the same working page uh, looking at all the different ops you know there's literally over 1500 ops that haven't even been started you know there's ops that are already planned ready to rock and roll but they haven't been started and what happens is you know we say we get 1500 new people that are you know driven to go hardcore per op well that's just one person per op again and we need to actually, you know, make a statement. Say, hey, look, 
this needs to be changed on this date or else we're gonna do this and when they don't do that then we do what we said we're gonna do all right this is something that I thought was gonna come naturally you know because you well know, it just makes sense you know what I'm saying it's the right way to do things so I actually am dumbfounded that it hasn't gone forward people haven't been doing this and that's where the irritation and frustration comes in you know I can speak for both sides you know that talk about it's frustrating and you know it's still progress but all in all you know chemtrails and all that stuff I think that that's something that we need to go ahead and target okay I understand that you know there's so many more important things other than chemtrails in everybody's mind okay and I understand you're working so hardcore on all these other ops but these fucking lines in the sky this fucking fake snow and all this harps and stuff that's a perfect spot I think to make the statement okay because everybody sees these lines okay now what's gonna happen is as soon as these lines stop you know once Anon actually makes a permanent change in what everybody's seeing day to day that's when more things get accomplished because we're gonna have more people aware we're gonna have more people focused everybody's gonna learn from how they worked as a team they're gonna work as a team on other things uh, that was the beauty of the multiple collectives in the multiple countries is each country was doing their thing but now that people got that figured out it's time to finally unite globally and that's very important you know um, I just don't want to see it passing by nobody said it you know and I don't know why nobody said it you know maybe they have and I just hadn't heard it you know but I, I don't see it happening you know so I really don't see it happening um, we need to go ahead and find one target and all agree on it and then we need to totally destroy that target completely erase that target and then move on to the next target okay that's how stuff's gonna be accomplished because the next targets gonna see that we did accomplish what we said we would to begin with then they will be more likely to either change or you know come target again we'll destroy them move on to the next one you know what I'm saying I mean we gotta lead by example so I hope y'all you know organize you know stay stay tuned look out for each other uh, get on the same page um I don't know May 5th you know Cinco de Mayo sounds like a good date Cinco de Mayo I expect one thing to be finished like completely finished done and us not have to deal with it anymore I understand it's not going to be chemtrails you know what I'm saying we can't knock that out by Cinco de Mayo but we can knock that out 2014 I believe and that's something that needs to be focused on so you know that chemtrail deadline we should be able to set for July 4th and if it fails which more likely it will we still have half a year to continue going hardcore learn from the lessons that where we failed and then gain from where we've succeeded so that's what it is that's what's up uh, yeah have a good one